Hey guys, welcome back. And I am not at home. As you, if you've been here before, you can tell. Different background. Uh, we are on the road, but um, I have a copy of Noiseless AI. I wanted to give you my first impressions of what's coming into Luminar Neo on August 30th. I mean, it's really soon. I've been playing around with it a little bit. I wanted to share my first impressions. That's what this video is about. I'm going to walk through a few different photos, show you how it's working on my images. I have to say so far, I'm impressed. I think it's looking really good. What I don't know is the way the tool is going to be presented in Neo right now. I don't know if that's exactly how it's going to be when it launches, but regardless, I wanted to share first impressions. And if you don't have the extensions pack yet that includes Noiseless AI, you can get that at a link uh, down below. It is an affiliate link. They send me a uh, or pay me a referral commission if you use my link. And I would ask you to use that if you don't mind. It's a free way to support me. And I'm going to be sitting here making lots of videos about it, as you probably already guessed. So let's get going. I'm in Luminar Neo. I've got a few different photos. I'll bounce through a few of these as quick as I can. This is a street scene. You can see it's ISO 1250. So a little bit of noise, not like massively, you know, oh my gosh. But I'm going to bump up to about a 200. And you can kind of see there's noise in the photo. So noiseless raw right over here in a little folder or a little section called extensions. No, I don't know if every extension is going to be like that. We will have to see how it uh, works out. But Noiseless Raw, you open it up. And again, things may change because it's not ready for launch yet. But as you can see, it's giving you a low, a medium, or high setting to choose. And it's making a recommendation for you. It says low here. You've also got manual controls down here, including recovering original detail and sharpening, which do come in quite handy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and click low. And the AI does its calculations and it figures it out. And hey, look at that. Let me show you the before. There it is, a bit noisier, as you can probably tell. And the after, quite a bit cleaner, I think. Um, if you look in the sky, I think it's pretty noticeable there as well. By the way, when you move around, it does kind of rebuild. So it might take a second. But let me show you the before. You can see the noise in the sky fairly prominently. And the after, I think that looks pretty good. So. That's one. Let me go get another photo. Okay, this photo, just a random street scene I took in Austin, ISO 1000. So again, not over the top noise, but when I zoom in, let's go to 200 and take a look. You can kind of see, especially like here in the sky, there's a little bit of grain, right? I personally don't like that stuff. I like to take it out. I love that noiseless uh, AI is going to work on raw files quite well, as you see here, but also it's just built into the workflow. So you don't have to round trip to another app. I like that. A whole lot because I'm all about efficiency. And if I can do things in one app, great. That's good for me, which is why I love what uh, the Skylum team is doing with Neil. Anyway, noiseless raw, low, medium, high. Once again, it says do low, but I'm just going to choose middle because you know what? Why not? I'm going to take uh, a swing at that. And you can see, let me show you the before. There it is, quite a bit noisier. And the after, quite a bit cleaner. I'm going to go ahead and pull sharpness and pull that all the way to 100. And I can see it gets a little bit crisper. I don't see a massive difference when I go to 100 on sharpening. Um, again, this is pre-release. I don't know if it's going to change in any way. I do see some sharpening coming in, but not a lot when I go to 100. And I'm just kind of moving the sliders around randomly with a lot of my tr uh, trial or practice photos. But I wanted to show you that. I think that noise is coming out nicely. And also, let me zip down here. I'm going to back out to 100. And this is just the door. Okay, here we are actually at 200%. And just showing you the door, you can see some of the noise on it and how it's a little bit soft where the, the name of the artist and where it says truth. By the way, this guy does murals around lots of parts of Austin. I've shot quite a few and they're always just really cool. Anyway, there we go. There it is before. You can see that noise has come out and um, I'm going to add sharpness to 100. See if we can get a little bit more of that back and maybe a little bit of recover original detail. And I think that looks pretty nice. Now, to be clear, I haven't had a ton of time with this and I haven't figured out all the kind of best practices for it. So I'm still somewhat experimenting. But if you look at the before, quite a bit noisier and the after, quite a bit cleaner. I think that's looking really good. Let's go get another photo. OK, I've got this one of these two ladies. That's ISO 4000. So let's go take a look at that. Once again, noiseless raw here. It says middle. I'm going to go high because ISO 4000, right? So it'll zoom in automatically and you got to give it a minute to calculate and kind of apply the noise reduction. Okay, and here we go. There it is. Before, you can see kind of grain all over their skin. This was low light. This was F1.8. 
ISO 4000 focused on the, let's see, the left eye of the lady on the left. So there it is before noise reduction, and there is now, I hope, let me, actually, let me zoom into 200, that'll be better. You can probably see that a little bit better. So again, every time you move, it's got to rebuild, so you might have to give that a second. But there it is before, quite a bit grainier, as you can see, and after, quite a bit cleaner, which I like. Now here, I'm gonna drag the sharpness to 100. I'm seeing kind of some texture and things like that in the skin that I wouldn't want there. So to be clear, I don't recommend going to 100 on sharpen. I'm just showing you that uh, you have the ability to add some additional sharpness into your images. I would just be a little bit careful with it overall. Now I moved up here to the background. As you can see, there it is before, quite a bit of noise back there and after. I mean, I think their hair looks good. It's nice and clean. The wall behind them is clean, things like that. So again, pretty impressed with this. And last photo, this one of a gentleman, ISO 2500, also F1.8. I'm going to go ahead and zoom in here and get in, let's say, 200%. Let's just focus on his face and his eyes. You can see there's some noise there, and noise is raw. It says to use middle. I'm going to go ahead and go with high. Again, I'm just experimenting, kind of moving things around, and frankly, just doing a lot of tests. But if you look at the noise before and the noise afterwards, I think that looks pretty smooth. And I'm going to back out just a little bit. That gives you a slightly different view of it. But there it is before and there it is now. Also, if you look back here, sometimes it's easier to see the noise in that lighted part of the background. So there it is before any adjustments. And there is now. You can see the noise is smooth and I think things look really good. So overall, first impressions are very solid. Again, I don't know that the tool is in final form. We're going to get this on August 30th if you've pre-ordered. So far, in all the tests that I've been doing on these images and some others, I think the results are looking great. I'm really eager to see this when it's in full production mode, so to speak. And I hope this preview has given you some idea about what to expect out of noiseless AI. Again, having it all fully integrated into the Luminar Neo experience all in one place is just going to be fantastic. So I hope you're as excited about noiseless AI as I am. And whatever extensions are coming after that, I think it's just going to be great to have all these capabilities right here in one place. That's my first look, kind of first impression of Moiseless AI. I will be back with more tips, tricks, and videos around it. I've just been on the road. I haven't really had time to slow down and uh, do this video. So thanks for watching. I'll have more as soon as I can. You guys take care of yourselves. Until next time, I'll see you then, and adios.